Hi everybody. So today what I've got to do, I've got to, I'm going to start driving him a lot. So I want him to have shoes on because I have a lot of rock here on the farm and I'm mostly going to be practicing on gravel roads. So I'm go going to uh, clean his feet up, trim them up a little bit, not really trim, but kind of just shape them up with the file and rasp and then take a whole bunch of pictures and measurements to send to the farrier I found so that he can have the shoes pre-made when he comes to shoe him. And uh, he'll be coming within the next couple weeks and we're gonna get Oliver's first pair of shoes on. So I'm, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap these feet up, uh, the feather up with some vet wrap just to keep them out of my way so we can see the hoof better. Oliver is very curious about everything and he knows that I got a uh, treat out. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> so he's uh he's wanting that treat real bad. Ah. That's not gonna work very well, is it? Uh, no, I seen it done on uh with Sharan Rat. boy. I'll do all four feet and then I'll get to work. Okay, so for all of you that are new to the channel, um, sometimes I take it for granted that everybody knows that Oliver is our rescue Clydesdale that we found at an auction. He was 500 pounds lighter than he is now <laughs> just five short months ago. He's never been shod and he's just learning everything and he's just recovered from EPM and we fa just found a farrier. I've had a lot of trouble finding a farrier that will work on draft horses around here. So the farrier uh, that I found has never seen Oliver yet. Be good. So I'm gonna take pictures and send to him, like I said, but I wanna get the, sh the feet shaped a little bit before I start working on them. So like I said, he's a two and a half year old stud, so he's, interested in everything I do and he knows I went and got some treats <laughs> he knows where they're at so that's actually counterproductive because now he's going to be pestering me till he gets one but he's still a good boy he's sweet oh as I start to clean out his front left hoof you can see he has very good hooves from what I've learned about draft horses what you want is a good round even hoof okay so what I'm going to do before I size it it's like you see this flare right here. Oh, stand. Oh, that's a bad boy. No, this flare sticking out. I'm gonna take that flare. Oh, stand. Stand. This is a little bit of a flare. Then I'll round the nose off. Take that down a little bit, and then we'll be good. A flare is a spot where the hoof wall is too thick and sticks too far away from the white line. Okay, so here's that flare from the outside. So this is that round in the outside and then there was a little bit over here, remember? See, there's a little bit of a quit, a little bit of a dish right here. See how you can see that dish underneath there? So I'm gonna take that down. This is a major one. give him a break so eventually I'm gonna to want to use power tools with him so I'm gonna do a little condition response training and I'm gonna give him about two treats and because he's a fast learner and he'll learn when he hears this it's a good thing and not to worry about it that way I can use this on the inside of his hoof to grind and shake. Come here, foot bud. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. 
Give it here. Give it here. Leave it. really good for that, all things considered. Now I can get the measurements for that hook. So, what I'm thinking is so that the guy has something to judge the heel from. That's right at seven inches, but to where the actual two heels end would be more like six inches, but to the back of the frog or hoof seven and a quarter for heel support so i don't know what measurement he would exactly want but we can steal pictures from that then the widest part is seven and a quarter yep seven and a quarter wide it's almost perfectly round seven and a quarter so that's pretty good I looks like I need to cut a little of that out, but since he's coming, I'll just let him do it. Give me here. Good boy. Good boy. I'll just round this here, take us some toe off and then try to flatten it out with the grinder afterwards. Good boy. Not too bad. Pretty good, got a really great frog for, this is what disperses the weight as he steps to the whole foot. It's like a cushion, you know? He's got a great frog, really good hoof, all in all. I'm still learning about draft feet. I know on the front feet they want them really round. Oliver's back feet kind of have a point and like an arrowhead shape to them, but I'm gonna learn more about that from this farrier hopefully, and I'll be able to keep them um, trimmed up and yeah, working towards a good hoof. it because it's the first time with power tools and he's just doing great. Good boy. Gotta love Oliver. Okay, let's get the measurements on that back one. Seven and an eighth across. I would say seven and an eighth to the back of the heel. And if we were going to go to where the hoof wall stopped, it would be six and a quarter. Very good, Oliver. Good job, buddy. Yours. He's starting to learn his voice commands, too. Get over. Get over. Get over. Over. Get over. There. There. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. See, the flare actually caused a crack right here, so I gotta take that all the way out past that crack, then the rest of it just needs rounded up. Good boy. Now leave it there. I'm 6'4", built long and not very muscular, so all this bending over and horseshoeing is not for me. I am not made for it and it's really hard on me. So if I'm uh, breathing hard and look like I'm about to pass out, 
give me a little bit of slack hey, because it's hard on me and I hate doing it. Okay. This is the drawback to training with treats. They get to get nosy on you and pushing on you. And I had to give him a little correction there. Um, in the future, I think I'm going to start just giving him treats at the end of lessons and not during lessons because he is getting a little too pushy over them. Pretty close. I am really proud of Oliver, though, because most draft horses that I've seen on YouTube get sh have to get shod in stocks where their feet are tied up and bound with ropes, and I've trained Oliver to stand there like a good boy, and he's never even seen these power tools before, and we're still able to do it unassisted. Back of the foot to the front, barely seven. Not even quite seven. And then to where the heels stop, or the hoof stops, barely six. The widest spot, seven and a quarter still. Those are very healthy. Good. This one's got a little flare here and a lot of flare on the toe. A little bit out here, so outside quite a bit more than the inside, just round the inside and then a lot on the toe. Okay, to the back of the foot, seven and an eighth, to the back of the, where the heels stop, six and a quarter, seven, maybe seven and an eighth. Yeah, seven and an eighth wide. So now Emery is going to put on this hoof treatment. I guess I should have kept that on. But it's like a moisturizer. One of our viewers sent us this. Thank you. Off the Amazon wish list. And the important part is to get it all the way up on the cuticle or the, the uh, coronary band is what it's called in horses. And it makes them nice and shiny. I, we had a viewer send us in this uh, Touchless Care Zinc Oxide protectant spray for the feather. All our loyal viewers already know how <laughs> much Emery takes care of me. Here. It's locked. Ta-da! So this is actually the best that Oliver's legs has, have looked though. There's not, I don't see any sores on it. So I'm just gonna put a little of this on. Then I'm gonna get the uh, diatoms, the diatomaceous earth, and mix it in. Really push it up in his feathers, good. Jerry's supposed to be holding his breath so he does not breathe this in. I, do you feel any sores? I'm not seeing any no, this time. No, great. Yeah, I think he's pretty much cleared up right now. This is... For sure, the best he's ever looked. I know you knew that Clyde's or draft horse feet were much harder to take care of than the normal horse, but did you know about the feather care before we got him? No. <laughs> I didn't either. Not really. I figured it was a pain Eep. to make him look real good, but I've had fox trotters that get feather before. And you gotta shave them all the time. Um, and they don't, they're not prone to any problems, like drafts are. So I just figured it'd be easy. Okay. Okay, all done. Woo -wee. Good job, buddy. Okay, he did real good, especially with the power tools. I was gonna do a lesson, but I wore myself out. So I'm going in the house <laughs> and he's going to bed. Okay. We'll see you next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps our channel. I want to grow to 100,000 subscribers by November 1st. So <laughs> Why November 1st? Because I just want to beat my dad to 100,000 <laughs> really bad. And give Oliver a thumbs up. My dad has a channel, for those of you that don't know, called Rosa Stringworks. Mm -hmm. 
He builds and repairs musical instruments. Yeah, he's acoustic. Luthier, Woo! and he's had a channel for 10 years, and that's who talked me into making my own YouTube channel. And uh, we've had ours for a year and a half, almost two years. Year Actually, two years this month. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember dates. Two years this month, I think. So, um, we're, we've, we've almost caught him in, uh, you know, a fourth of the time or a fifth of the time. So, it'd be neat to catch him and pass him up and get to 100. He's at 96 or 98,000 right now. Mm -hmm. And we're at, I think, what, 86,000 mm -hmm. right now? Yeah, we just hit 86. Yeah. Okay. Not that it's a competition, but I would really love to rub it in. <laughs> Good night, Oliver. <laughs> and we want to make sure to say thank you to everyone who has been sending items from our Amazon wish list. Uh, that all of this was from Karen. Uh, there were some leather wipes, a saddle cover, and then a pump, a water pump, which is perfect for like this year when we were in the drought, we were hauling water. So uh, this pump is really going to come in handy. Thank you so much, Karen. And then Trina sent all of these shampoos. Uh, we've never tried this, these before, but they smell really good and they look awesome and then she also sent these Himalayan uh, salt licks for the horses and they absolutely love these so we're really excited to try this shampoo out I think the idea behind these shampoos is to try them on Oliver's feathers, which we're absolutely going to do, and we'll see how they work. So thank you so much, Trina. And once again, Amazon did not send a note. I don't know who these items are from. Uh, if you're listening and it's you, drop us a comment and let us know. But thank you so much. We were really needing a broom and the scissors, so uh, we really appreciate it. And then we got some more Himalayan salt licks for the stalls that will get gobbled up very quickly from Barb. Uh, the horses just really love these. Thank you, Barb. And then we got another Himalayan salt lick from one of the viewers and we're probably going to set this out and let the sheep use this one and I'm sure the horses will lick on it a bit too. So whoever sent this, thank you. And then Susan sent us a gift card to our local farm and feed store, which we didn't even know you could get a gift card uh, from there. So this is really cool. And we will definitely be heading in to pick up some more grain for the horses and dog food. So thank you so much, Susan. Hey.